The one car I wish I would have never sold, and I kick myself in the ass every time I see it go up for sale. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Matt. Just like a lot of you that are watching this, I like to work on cars. That's not what I do for full-time living, but you know, it's a great pastime. It's been a great way to meet some of you guys. Awesome community, awesome. The, the car community is great. One of the cars that I wish I would have never sold is my V8 Volkswagen Bug, in which I'm sure you guys have seen some of the videos. Why did I sell it? Why? I don't know. I mean, I know exactly why. One, I'm an idiot. Two, needed the money at the time. Lost my truck in, in an accident. Had to get a family car. Started having a family. Was married. Life seemed great. <laughs> uh, got a divorce. A lot of things went on. Lost my house. I lost the, the car that I had at the time because I was just a, a busy person trying to keep up with a lifestyle, the, the American dream of a nice home, car, all all that stuff and uh, things just kind of fell apart and I needed to get my life back on track so what I did was I I sold the car took that money I bought a used course is used it's a 1971 1971 yeah it was a 1971 Volkswagen Beetle I just gave the thing a tune-up and just drove it unfortunately someone rear-ended that car so <laughs> and then that's when I did the El Camino project trying to Kind of, I don't know, I, I like older cars, but then I quickly realized that just wasn't something that was reliable enough and needed to, to be able to go back and forth to, to pick my kids up. So I ended up selling that as well. And I got the, the Chevy Cruze. And I'm sure if you're tuning in, more than likely you have subscribed to this channel, but my V8 bug, is up for sale. I did reach out to some people on Facebook and I've had a, a couple donations, people helping with the, the fundraising. Long story short, I do not have the money to buy this car back. I wish I did, but I don't. And it's hard for me to even make this video because I'm not the kind of person that really asks for help. I've got a small business in which I employ three people. There are times with it being a small business, just to, to kind of keep everybody employed. I sometimes, I don't even get to pay myself. However, I mean, this past year has been pretty good, but not to the point towards where I could just save up what they're asking for the car, almost 13 grand to, to buy the thing back. And I see it and I'm just like, man, it would be nice to have that car back to continue to do some awesome content on it and take it to the drag strip. Maybe toss some turbos on it. I don't know. And I'll tell you why the thing keeps going up for sales because I was never able to get the thing running cool. Nobody else either could. It just looks good sitting still and I built it for the purpose of taking it to the drag strip, ripping it, doing burnouts, that kind of stuff. And it's definitely not something you can just cruise around before the thing starts overheating. So I'm going to ask you to reach deep down in your pockets. Again, this, this is a hard video for me to make in all seriousness. It would be great to have it back. I can't afford it. So I did put together a GoFundMe. If you want to hopefully help me get this car back before it does sell, it's been been up for sale for eight or nine weeks at this point. And, uh, it'd be really cool. It'd make for some great content. Really cool doesn't even explain how I f would feel if I got the car back. I mean, I'd, I'd probably cry. Actually, I would because I spent five years of my life working on the thing on and off and it was a, a great way for me to just kind of get away from the daily stressors of life. Um, not to mention also I've, I've suffered from and to this day, I still do anxiety disorder, generalized anxiety disorder. It's definitely gotten much better with the right help in medicine uh, and, and help. I mean, me searching on YouTube, finding things that work for me because um, mental health isn't exactly something that insurance covers, nor is it cheap to get help for, but luckily, I've, I've been doing much better. Sometimes it, it kind of comes and goes. This isn't about poor Matt or anything like that. 
I think life is great. And you know, I'll continue to, to be a happy person regardless if I do meet the goal of 13,000 in order to, to get this car. But, but just a shot in the dark, if you guys do want to help out, there is a link down in the description where you can go and, you know, kick a little funds my way to, to possibly get this car back. Again, <laughs> I, I say this, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I regret ever getting rid of that car and sure there, there will be, uh, there will always be that little part of me that, that wishes and just, I, I mean, I would love to have it back and it, it definitely was a mistake. And even putting this together, I mean, it was, was difficult, kind of sharing some personal things about myself. So it is it is a little bit of a vulnerable video. I don't know, I don't know what else to say because I'm, I'm not used to doing these kind of videos. If you want to help out, link down in the description. Be sure to share this. It definitely would be, there's lots of great causes out there aside from helping me get back a car. However, it would be fantastic, right? One can only hope, wish, and dream. We're gonna continue on with some of the, the project I got going on. Uh, just past this green screen is my Chevy Cruze that I'm turbocharging. So be sure to stick around for that. I appreciate each and every one of you, everybody that subscribed, everybody that tunes in. We'll see you in the next one. If I don't, you know, if, if this is how hard this is because I'm like stumbling over my words. But if it sells, I don't raise the funds for it. Not a big deal. You know, sometimes you go through life with, with regrets and you just kind of learn from it. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, I'm Matt. And uh, peace out with your peace out. Wait, we got to do a proper peace out with your peace out with some whooshing. Peace out with your peace out.